All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Union Cross, where we talk about more metals that mean absolutely nothing in the current state of the game. I don't know what I'm saying, but let's, let's jump right into it, okay? Obviously, first of all, as you can tell, I am standing up. I hope you can tell. I'm standing up in my brand new luscious setup. My gorgeous new green screen. It looks, it looks like I'm stroking Lark Seam, but that's not what I'm doing, I swear. Now, for the TLDR, for any of you who don't want to hear the explanation, who only watch my video, who skip to the end or whatever, all right? Shionbi, eh, unnecessary, okay? You can skip her. She's kind of, she's garbage, okay? Compared to what's already available, garbage, all right? If you have Kira 21, don't need her. If you have Ava, don't need her. If you have any other metal in your repertoire, oh, excuse me, I'm getting hiccups. That increases strength, metal strength, by 1,500. You don't need her. <laughs> Unless you severely lack metals that buff strength, like if you're a newish player or something, or you haven't been pulling on a lot of these uh, strength buffing metals lately, then that's probably the only reason to pull for her. But even then, I would say don't do it, just because of the fact that it's fairly obvious that most metals coming out now are, are coming out at plus 1500 strength. So you want those. You want the ones that buff. It's 1500 strength at most. Um, and Lurk Scene B is only really relevant if you care about PvP. So now with the TLDR is out of the way, let's actually go into the metals and banners themselves and stuff. Let's quickly go over the banners since they're in here. N never mind. We'll just go to the, the metals. So these are the metals. Okay. They look pretty good. Can't complain. They look very staple. I don't know if that makes sense. They look like very staple poses. There's nothing special about the the the, the pose. I guess you could say it's like that's like a that's like a standard like scene pose, and then it's like it's she going holding a key. Like, like <laughs> I don't know what more you can ask for. I mean, I like the renders because their camera's free. I can't speak today. Anyways, let's uh, actually look at the abilities. We're well, starting off with Xion B. She's a speed upright metal, of course, tier 10, costs one gauge, has a damage multiplier of a times 44.69 to a 62.08. His AoE deals five hits, five hits, and for one turn raises metal strength, general metal strength, so all your metals, by 1000. Increases your general strength, upright strength, reverse strength, and PSM strength by eight tiers. Increases guild boost by 200%, increases your counters by one, and does more damage to lower the slot number. All right. Kingdom Hearts 3 Lark Scene, which is a reverse, I think it's she speed too, right? Yeah, she speed. Reverse speed metal. Okay. AoE, tier 10, three gauges, has a multiplier of 59.39 to a 66.53. Deal seven hits for one turn. Increases speed metal strength by 1500. Hey, that's what I was talking about. Uh, increases guilt boost by 200%. Does not affect counters. Does more damage with one enemy or zero parts left. Uh, pierces defense boost 15% of the time. And reflects 15% of speed. All right. In terms of their supernovas, I forgot about that. Shion B supernova. AoE. One turn increases metal strength by 500. And... Lowers the enemy's general defense, upright, reverse, and PSM defense by seven tiers. It has and gives a 280% uh, guilt buff. Lark Scene Supernova, AoE. Oh, they both have a times 220 multiplier, by the way. Um, Lark Scene Supernova, AoE for one turn, increases metal strength, speed metal strength by 1000. Lowers the target's reverse defense by 15 tiers. Has a 280% guilt buff. Okay, now in terms of what of my thoughts about these metals, overall, I feel like Shion B is just kind of a letdown. Um, in terms of, mul let's just start with the multipliers, I guess. In terms of just the multipliers, they're not the very, they're not the greatest multipliers in the game. Um, if you pulled for any of the foretellers, they easily have higher uh, multipliers than these guys do. Um, a lot of the latest metals recently have been having higher multipliers than these guys, to be honest. Uh, reaching near like the 70 range if that makes sense it's just to help give you a bit of a gauge of where they're at so 
while they're still decent, they're not the best, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, on top of the fact that Xion B, in order to even reach the hand and the multiplier, you pretty much need her in like the first slot or two. So. Yeah. Um, in terms of Xion Bean's ability, like I kind of mentioned earlier in the TLDR, there's already a bunch of other medals already currently available that do a way better job than she does. She basically just feels like an updated version of... That's not it. She basically just feels like an updated version of Kingdom Hearts 3 Shion A. That's it. Let me zoom in on that. Okay. That's it. She just feels like an updated version of Shion A. And that's it. Nothing really too special about her. Um, in terms of... Oh, I, I, it's also worth noting, too, that the fact that Xion B, her base ability only provides buffs in terms of, like, you know, PSM, upright, reverse, general strength and stuff, only provides buffs. It's something... I don't like that. Just because of the fact that basically any time a Xion or, or Kyrie medal comes out, we're hoping to be able to use them as replacements for Kingdom Hearts 3... Uh, I can't for Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie and where is it? The the not not these ones, the 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 Kyrie and Shion before these. I forgot what the name of these are. Of course I spelled them wrong. Kyrie. Yeah, this Ky Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie as well as Shion. HD show. Okay, that's what the name of it is. Supernova HD show. These two medals. Okay, we're basically looking for a replacement for these two medals. Because to this day, these medals are still used in the meta as of right now. Okay. Um, there's still a staple medal to having your first slot. Uh, and we haven't really had a Kyrie or Shion medal come out yet. Or mm, really any other type of medal for that matter. Uh, except maybe possibly Envy, that can actually replace these two. So, yeah. Now, in terms of her supernova, her supernova is the only way to actually reduce uh, the enemy's defenses, which I don't like, just because of the fact that, like, that's only a one-turn thing. If you end up having the last multiple turns, even just a second turn, you can't guarantee those debuffs anymore. So I don't like that. I, I personally don't like it. She's not she's not the greatest. She's a decent medal, but she's not like there's already many other medals currently out there right now, is what I'm trying to say. In terms of Larxene, she is the first uh medal in the game to finally provide a reflect for speed in PvP, because as of right now. That was the only attribute that was actually missing. We currently have uh, Roxas to reflect power, and we also have, obviously, Aqua, Anti-Aqua, that, that reflects magic. Now, and I guess you could say that's almost like a, a good way to think about Kingdom Hearts 3 Luxine, is that she's basically almost like a updated modern version of Kingdom Hearts 3 Roxas. She basically does the same exact thing, except she also provides the plus 1500 speed strength. You know to go along with the current medals coming out that's kind of a good way to think about it um now on her own she's honestly not too bad the fact that she provides 1500 strength that's pretty good it also means that you can actually use her for missing ache too which is a nice little bonus um because a lot of the reverse keyblades as of right now are missing uh medals to even be able to to keep up with a lot of uh, other Keyblade setups, such as like Sleeping Lion, for example. Um, so like if we're, like this is Missing Egg right here. Right here, you could probably put like Key Art 21. I think this is Key Art 21. Yeah, Key Art 21. And then it's like from here on out, what would you even do? You can't really use many other, there's like no real other metals at the moment. For Speed Reverse, for example, they could actually increase metal strength so kingdom hearts 3 like scene would be fantastic for reverse keyblades such as missing egg for example okay um because most metal strength uh, medals at the moment are pretty much mostly upright 
So, yeah. Overall, I would say in terms of Lark Sting, she's pretty much mostly just for reverse setups. If you happen to rely on reverse setups. Um, as well as PvP. And right now, as I've mentioned multiple times in my last few, or, you know, recent, for a while now, in my uh, Union Cross videos, PvP is in a state where it kind of doesn't matter. <laughs> it almost doesn't matter. Just barely. It just barely matters. Like, quite honestly, as long as you rank in, like, top 7,000, 5,000, you're fine. You should honestly be fine. I don't even remember the last time I actually seriously tried to do to get really high up in PvP. I probably could if, if I tried, if I wanted to, but I just have no reason to. Because of the fact that, well, A, tier 10 medals, they already come fully maxed out. You don't need Meowwows anymore. Um, let alone Blue Fairies. Blue Fairies are basically dead, <laughs> to be honest. Um, when's, when was the last time we got a tier 9 medal? Don't remember. I haven't been getting very many tier 9 medals in quite a while to warrant me actually wanting to chase for Meow Wow in the first place. Uh, and only when I do, I will typically have gotten enough by that time just from casually playing PvP to have actually, uh, to still be able to evolve it. So, yeah. All in all, Lark Scene is a much better metal. Oh, you guys can't see my mouse, my cursor. But... Lark seems a much better metal. Depends complete. It completely depends on what you are going for in the game, or uh, you know what type. What do you need for your setup? So if you're going, like I mentioned, reverse setup, maybe consider Lark Seam. Uh, or if you really do like P or want to do well in PvP, maybe an also consideration. I personally recommend against it, just because PvP is honestly not that great right now, uh, and Shion B is just not very good. <laughs> She's a little subpar, to be honest. Now, in terms of the actual banners, they're nothing new. They're fairly standard. And it's... They're they're sticking with the uh, the Ten Mercies, apparently. In which case... For me, this is a hard skip. Um, Shion B is a hard skip. Okay, like, don't even look at her. She's not even worth going for for that banner. And Lark Scene, if it was a five mercy pull then I would say it would be kind of worth it. But as a 10 Mercy pool, I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. I would rather save my jewels, and I would recommend your jewels as well, waiting for a significantly better metal that, to come out uh, some for some, uh, soon, rather than pulling on Lark Scene. Because right now, if you pull for Lark Scene, you're only going to get like a small marginal benefit of return. Which I don't really feel like is worth dumping 30,000 jewels for. If that makes sense. So, Without further ado, that was basically it in terms of my thoughts about the newest medals. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and your opinions are in the comments section down below about these medals. What do, uh, do you think they're good? Not good? Would you pull for them? Let me know. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Chaos Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.